check out this outhouse. This is the best maintained outhouse I think I've ever seen. I usually don't do a random shout out to an outhouse, but that thing is, that thing's legit. Looks good. <laughs> Okay, so that river, that river way out there is the Columbia River. And that's where I want to get. But I don't want to have to hike through all that scrub brush, especially with a baby in a backpack. But the problem is we've reached this. I don't think the Army Corps of Engineers would take it too kindly if I um, just went ahead and crossed the fence and trespassed on their property. So we're going to find a different way. Hey, big guy, let's go this way. What do you say? I can go that way, but that's the way I came. This way, this way would be new, but I think it leads us away from the river. Let's, let's try the new thing. Without a doubt, this is the way. When I left the truck, I had a choice of two different roads to take. I took the one to the right, and that got us way off in the middle of nowhere. Then came back, took the road to the left, and it got us here. Well, we made it to the river, but it's really windy out here. I need to find some place quieter. Let's go, let's go over there. This is, this is much better. Out of the wind, it's quieter. Just wanted to find a place where I could just stop and just chat for a few seconds. I think a lot of us struggle with boredom and the thought that if we go out and if we try to find some place new or if we try to move on from where we are that we'll find happiness and that's that's not that's not how it works in fact oh come here big guy <laughs> you are the best yeah you are he's the best baby no in, instead what i found that works a lot better is trying to find something new to enjoy in what you're already doing. I know that's pretty deep, but let me try to explain. All right, big guy, let's go. Yeah, yeah. We're at the very southern tip of Mackay Reservoir, where Mackay Stream feeds the reservoir. And I want to find out where that point is because I've never seen it during the spring when the reservoir is starting to fill up. And I thought this would be a good place to continue our flow of conversation. <laughs> See what I did there? And just wrap up what I've been, what I've been thinking about. If you keep jumping from activity to activity, or place to place, or even relationship to relationship, you'll miss out on the enjoyment that can be had from learning more about whatever it is that you're doing or where you are or who you're with. That deeper understanding brings with it a whole new experience. For me, for example, I know I like hiking, but I have a friend who loves hiking. I mean, loves, loves hiking. One day he was using hiking poles and he's a healthy early 30s. I said to him, why, why are you using the, healthy, the, the hiking poles? Do you need those? And he said, no. Using hiking poles reduces, on average, 
3% impact on your knees per step. And that means over the course of a day, if you were to go 20 miles, he can easily get an extra mile or two because he's not nearly as fatigued as he would be without using the poles. I'm like, oh, I, I, wow. He's taken hiking to just mastery. I'm 6'5", so I've got a six foot five inch wingspan and it's still bigger than me. Look at this thing. What a great tree. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we're, we're getting out here in the boonies. I don't know what these brush are, but usually they're underwater, so most of them are dead. And we're just coming through tons of them. How you doing back there, big boy? Ooh. This looks promising. We're coming up to a huge clearing. And uh, I know the river is that way. So, we've gotta go this way, guys. Let's go this way. See those puppies. Fortunately, there's a ton of deer trail through here, so we can just follow those. To figure at some point, the deer's gotta get thirsty, right? So it's gonna go to the water. It just makes sense. We're right ahead of us. I see it, we made it. During the winter, none of this water is here. It's down to just a tiny little trickle, like seriously about five feet wide, and it's on the far side of all those reeds out there. I mean, this, this three months ago was all just a big flat mud plain. Everybody fist bump? Obi fist bump? Fist bump? Fist bump, big guy, fist bump, fist bump. Yeah, I just love this guy. Did you get enough to drink? <laughs> you're, you're soaked. <laughs> hey buddy, you get enough to drink? <laughs> I'll take the shaking as meaning, yeah, they, they're doing fine. Mission accomplished. We're gonna see if we can find our way back to the truck now. Fortunately, that big oak tree is just right over there. I'm gonna use it as a landmark. Um, but I do have one more thought and that's, there is an immense pleasure to be had from mastering or the attempt to master an activity. If you find something you like and you dive deep into it and you lose yourself in the pursuit of learning more or making yourself better at it, it's all consuming. You will forget about every other problem in the world because they just fall by the wayside. <laughs> Even better. If you can find your calling or your passion and get lost in that, years will fly by. You'll be so happy. So the question is, how do you find an activity that you can even stand, let alone pursue for the rest of your life? Well, think of it, think of it kind of like dating. Write a list down of everything you enjoy and then overlay something on top of all your likes that will capture as many as possible. Like, I enjoy being outside. I enjoy water. I enjoy nature. I enjoy being with this guy. Hey, I'll go hiking with him. That's a really fun activity for me now and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. But the secret is, the real key is, even if you don't like something at first, try it again, maybe even the third time. Stick with it for just a little bit and see how it feels. All right, I gotta, I gotta get home. Everyone's tired. He needs to need some more milk. Okay guys, come on. Come on, come on, big guy. Good boy. 